Hi, I'm Bradley, and this is Little Light Studios, and you're watching I've Got a Question. Today's question is, what is predictive programming? It was Oscar Wilde who famously wrote, life imitates art far more than art imitates life. So what happens when society follows what they see in today's technologically advanced art, movies, and music? What and who decides what form of art are being produced to affect the minds with some strange ideas? Today, we are answering all those questions about predictive programming. So what is predictive programming? It's a theory developed by a philosopher named Alan Watt, who said that predictive programming is a subtle form of psychological conditioning provided by the media to acquaint the public with planned societal changes to be implemented by our leaders. If and when these changes are put through, the public will already be familiarized with them and will accept them as natural progressions, thus lessening the possible public resistance and commotion. While this theory is popular among well-known conspiracy websites and personalities, the reality is that the truth is far more sinister than that. The majority of predictive programming is not planned by humans. The originator is the devil. The organized dissension of society through art comes from a far more coordinated spiritual realm. The oldest form of this desensitization comes from the devil himself when he attempted to confuse and distract people from the Bible prophecies foretelling the coming of the Savior Jesus Christ. Before Jesus was born, the Egyptian god Horus, the Greek god Dionysus, the Indian god Krishna, and the Persian god Mithra all claim to be fulfilling the prophecies with similar traits of Jesus Christ. All these stories falsely claim to be born of a virgin, to have disciples, to be dead, and to be resurrected, and many more. This desensitized people to the idea of this fulfillment happening from scripture, as there are already so many claiming these prophecies. In the same manner, just before Jesus was born, the devil moved to create false messiahs. These events and more desensitized the religious leaders and confused people, slowing down the progress of the gospel. Although not all media may contain predictive programming, that form of propaganda that we experience today is both human created and spiritually created by influencing the writers of popular TV shows and movies. This form of media is especially effective at subtly introducing new ideas and developing our reactions to future events. This media guides minds towards lower passions and evil propensities. Movies often call rule keeping archaic and dangerous, alluding to God being like a machine or robot uplifting emotional desires and feelings and downplaying the logic and rational thought which allows us to determine right and wrong. So how do you mitigate the effect of this propaganda in our life? Simply by distancing yourself from the entertainment media and substituting it with prayer and communication with God. It is inevitable that we will experience this propaganda through subtle messages we receive in music and video. Anywhere from grocery store to the gas station pump, but the danger comes in when we allow our minds to subconsciously entertain these ideas. Jesus knows that we each live in a life full of danger. And when we abide in him, his Holy Spirit will guide and protect us, keeping us on the straight and narrow if we continually choose to follow him. By excluding yourself from being entertained by the entertainment industry, you have effectively disabled an avenue that Satan has to your heart opening new pathways for the Holy Spirit to work on your character. Proverbs 4.23 says, Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it springs the issues of life. In another version it says, Guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Thanks for watching. If you have a question, leave it in the comments below. It means the world to us to hear from you and we try to answer every question that comes in. Don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel and to share it on your social media platform. See you next time.